Hey y'all, I did quite a bit of flying with the Mavic 2 Pro this past fall, but I've had the drone stored away nice and safe over this winter. But I started looking over some of the footage I'd taken and I'm starting to get more and more excited for spring to arrive. Now, you can see that the sky is clearly blown out on this shot. I've gotten much better with making manual camera adjustments and also use filters on bright days like this now. So what you're seeing now is a little park with a picturesque bridge. I always wanted to film here, but there really isn't a great place to fly into this area due to tree cover. But I felt pretty confident with the Mavic 2 Pro due to all of the sensors on it, and I just flipped a switch on the controller to engage tripod mode. And getting through that narrow path of trees was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Check out these lush colors here. A lot of these shots don't even look like they're coming from a drone, do they? This shot here is my first time using the slow motion feature. I haven't used it much since then and I don't I don't think it works very well on shots like this. I'll maybe try it out when shooting uh, faster moving objects next time. Okay, it's time to go to Chetch, y'all. This is a beautiful church near where I live and I always wanted to get some aerials of it. And this was just a perfect fall day to get it done. Just look at how deep and rich the colors are. Now, by this time I had filters, so I'm probably using one of the polarized ND filters here because it was super sunny and really bright that day. But the dynamic range is spot on. So once again, I'm flying in tripod mode and this allows me to make really smooth movements and avoid jerky and jarring footage. Isn't that just beautiful? Come on now, you gotta admit it. I think I did this shot a few times. I tried it a few different ways just to see what would look the best. And I think they all came out pretty, pretty, pretty good. Look how nicely everything is exposed. The light areas and the dark areas are exposed correctly. And that's what I'm talking about, y'all. I also did a hyperlapse here, but it didn't come out the way I wanted. So I'm not including that in this video. As you can see, it was windy, but the footage came out smooth as butter. Now this is a tiny little park that I stumbled upon. I was looking for a good place to launch with lots of trees, and boy was this a gold mine in that regard. I think this was late October that I filmed this. Check out all of the colors, man. God's creation is absolutely mind blowing. I should probably mention that I shot everything in this video in high quality 4K at 24 frames per second. So I shot everything flat and then color graded in Premiere Pro afterwards. Now this can be a huge challenge because in order to film in D-Log M, you have to use the H.265 codec and that can be a real beast to edit real laggy and slow. 
Uh, I did a video on how to get around that, so check that out if you're interested. I'll put a card up and maybe a link in the description as well. But overall, I think it's worth it based on how fantastic the footage comes out and stands up to grading. Okay, take a look at this shot here. So you may or may not know that the camera on the Mavic 2 Pro can tilt upward. Now it's not to the same degree that the Parrot Anafi can, but just enough. You see that? Oh, let me point this shot out. As I'm throttling down, I'm slowly and smoothly panning the camera up and it makes for a really cool cinematic shot. I think so at least. And here's the final park in our fall around town with the Mavic 2 Pro. This was a pretty dreary cloudy day, but the camera on this drone seems to keep everything properly exposed due to the wide dynamic range. I set out to capture the fall colors at several locations and it was a lot of fun to do. I plan on doing something similar in the winter, but there was just one too many polar vortexes. Yep, a polar vortex is a real thing, and we had two of them. Google that and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I think I've talked long enough. This video is a lot different from what I usually do. You know, it, it, it's all footage. I usually try to keep videos like this pretty short because most folks attention span is short. But for the few of you that enjoy this kind of video, let me know in the comments. Let me know you're here. <laughs> all right, y'all get out there and enjoy God's creation and be good to somebody. Be good to yourself. I'll see you next time. Later.